Borio, which which hopefully is responsible when it has and recruits people that they recruit with people who are genuine, check the credentials and so on. But we know from from, from, from the past that there were many people who were not genuine doctors and they happened to basically infiltrate the system and they gave wrong prescriptions or uh, wrong diagnosis to people for which they had suffered. Yes, but we still believe in the testimony and that's the reason. So one thing is the evidence that you see and by deductive reasoning, you know that the universe didn't come about itself. There must be an intelligent designer which brought all this into existence. Then you have the element of testimony which you go by and that is where we believe that things like the Quran, the, the, the scripture that we believe that was revealed to Prophet Muhammad through, through God, through an angel and so on. This is something based on testimony. And when we look at the overall, what do you say, um, scenario and the picture, then we realize that them, all this makes sense. All this kind of now fits. So we don't have to spend our days asking for evidence for everything. Yes, because we know that this has, this, this fits in terms of the reality that we live in, it kind of makes sense that all this didn't come as, a, as an accident. Yes, and that's the reason I, I brought in the pastor's wager earlier, that if you find out one day when you die that God is real and all the things that you talk about, uh, that you had been told about in this world is real, then the question is why would you still be reluctant to take that step where you are actually taking the lesser risk? I would say, you know, if there is no God, okay. Why does God make it such a risk? Then? Why not it's reveal God. the evidence explicitly? This is heaven, this is hell. Physical manifestation of both. Then it wouldn't be a test. It is like you asking a teacher. So the faith is the test. Listen, listen. If you, it is like you asking a teacher when you're in examination room. Yes. Why didn't you just show us the answers? Yes. Why give us all these questions? Yeah. No, no, no. It's different because at least I know the exam exists, right? I know there is a test. Well, the world exists. To, the know. universe exists. No, no, and the, the universe didn't come about by itself. This life is a test. This life is a test, yes. But I don't have to see evidence for that. That's what do you mean? Fine. The life is a the test? Exam, you see the exam, you know it's a test. Yeah. Okay, so case, what do you want? You want God to come down here yes. and tell you? Well, you're saying Quran is the evidence. Okay, right? here's the thing. But I haven't studied Quran, so I don't know. Yeah. Here's the thing. If God came down here, yes, you would die instantly. Do you want such a, such a, are you sure about the postulation? <laughs> Why would you die? Because that is the, that is the thing. It is like you saying that, show me the, uh, what do you say? Show me radiation, I don't see it. But then oh, they bring okay. you near the radioactive uh, material, oh, okay, okay, okay. and then you die. Oh, there's the evidence. Okay, okay. You see what I mean? What's you're asking, you're, you're asking for suicide mission here, basically. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> this is a suicide mission to ask for God to come in front of you in this world. One day, the opportunity will come, provided you are a Muslim, provided you are a believer, when you'll be able to get your uh, what do you say? Uh, no, get your um, your wish fulfilled. What is your wish to see God? Inshallah, we'll see Allah one day. Yes, and that wish will be fulfilled in paradise. So all the people who are in paradise will have that vision, which will be the best of visions. Be when I say vision, I mean they will really see. see it. Yes. Without dying. Right yes. Here. Maybe we have a different uh, what do you say body? Yeah. We have a different vision yeah. that we can manifest. Sorry, we can see the we, we can see Allah directly, and that will be the best thing you see. So it'll be better than all the things that you get reward in the paradise. Yes. All the best of foods, best of I don't know wine or whatever it is. You know, all those things will be compared to Allah. It'll be nothing. And that's why I'm saying, look, if you take the step of believing in God, then you are really, like you said, uh, what is the term you use? You're empowering yourself to live a life which is meaningful. Your life will be meaningful. You won't have to go about saying, I don't know. You won't have to, you, you will still. I'm not saying I don't know. No, no, well, you said many times, I don't I'm know when I asked meaning. you the question. <laughs> no, but I'm, I'm living with meaning. I never said my life was meaningless. No, no. I'm saying I, I, so what is, of my own so if I asked you, what is the purpose of your life? My, it's whatever I say it is. What is it? Whatever I want it to Here's a question. Here's, your, here's a chance to I answer the question. No, no, answer the question. What I is the purpose of your life? But that's not a, that's, that's not, that not? that's not an answer. Of course it's an answer. So what do you mean, whatever you want to be? Whatever I want it to be. Okay, do you have, I am the arbitrator of my own existence. Do you have absolute freedom to do that? Yes, I have moral responsibilities. How about that? So the meaning of my life is whatever I choose the meaning to be. I'm a free human being. And what is that? It's whatever I want it to be. <laughs> but what is it? You, have you not decided that yet? What is the meaning of your life? Yes. When, when you say what it, whatever I well, want okay, it to be, but then you're saying I don't have absolute freedom. You see how the, it conflicts? The, the meaning is, 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 is self-defined through experience, right? Which for is, me, for me. Like, yeah. If you want to ask me what the values are in my life, what I think are valuable, I can name things. Things that I think are valuable in my life. Okay. But in terms of offering a meaning, the meaning itself is your existence, your lived experience. That's the meaning. You give it your own meaning. I'm defining my own meaning.
I don't know. I, I still think it's, 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 it's a... It's called existentialism, by the way. That's the philosophical theory about this. Your existential reality? Yes. That's your meaning? Yes. But that's that's a given, whether you... Yes. Even without you thinking about yes. it, that's a, so that's fact, a fact anyway. Exactly. So the fact that I live is is, is the meaning in itself. Ah, I see. So, I'm alive, therefore... Okay, so, so you're no different to the animals then? In some regards, you could say that. In but every we're, regard, we're in what lot, you just answered. Okay, but we're a lot more sophisticated. We can do a lot more with our existence. Yeah, but I'm it's not still just living just to fulfill my bodily functions and things. I no, can no, think and I can no. But that. what I'm saying is, your the what do you say? The foundation of what you just said. Yeah. Yes. The fundamental of what you said yeah. is no different to that of an animal. Because yeah, an animal is born. It it it, it, yeah. it 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 looks for sustenance. Yes. And it uh, it reproduces and it yes. dies one day. Yes. So the the foundation, the fundamental is is is, is not. Yes? Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah. So what, what I'm saying is that, look, you can live your life like the way you're living, yes? Full of I'm, I'm sure you're, I'm Full sure, of yeah, I'm sure you're, you're a person who's, yeah, who's, got, who's got good morals, who wants to do good life so. in, the, in, in their life with your family and with your society. Trust me, none of this Islam is going to stop you from. So but what you're saying, doing... I think the morality in Islam is good. No, no, good. no, but, but, here, but here's the thing. Because of you taking the chance or the higher risk of afterlife, that, you know, this life, by the way, is not just a test, but it's also limited and it's also very temporary. Yeah. Yes? Yeah. The life after is something that is going to be eternal. So you're, you're saying that I'm living my life the way I want and I, I personally believe that it's, 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 it's perfect, it's, it's good. And uh, no, no one is uh, like, uh, uh, sorry, I'm not harming anyone, so it's all good. But you see, that is not the purpose of life for you. In the, your, sense, in, in, in the sense that if there is an afterlife, yes. Yes, yes, there is more to it than just being a good person. But I don't believe that there is an Yeah, but you're not believing it is, is where I'm questioning you. Why you're not believing it? Yeah. Because if you are already living a good life, then believing in religion, believing in God makes the next, is, is basically the not, next logical thing to do. Could be true, yeah. You see what I mean? I can accept that. Yeah. yeah. And if that is the case, then the only thing you're harming yourself is by, by only focusing on this temporary life, and saying that, not only saying that I don't care what's going to happen in my next life, but in a way you're you've convinced yourself that there is no le next life. You see what I mean? Yeah. So the more risky, the more logical thing would be to say that I'm going to live my life yes. more or less in the way that I'm living now anyway. Plus, I will have the safety of exactly yeah. have the safety of believing in in God, yeah. who will give me the assurance of the next life. Which is eternal. No, that's a, that's a great point. Yeah? That's a really good point. So yeah. I, I think this is probably the most convincing point for me, honestly. Alhamdulillah. Because yes. that's like. Yeah. yeah. So why don't you look into it? Have you ever read the Quran? I have two Qurans in my house. But have you read my, them? Uh, <laughs> my girlfriend is a religious education teacher. Really? So she studies all okay. religious places. But is she religious herself? She's not. So yeah, I will read. I will read. Yeah, sure. Sure, yeah. Um, I just wanted to ask about feeding. Um, Yes. What stops you from indulging heavily in eating if your morals are, I don't know, not so clear? So, what do you define heavily? Just I don't know. happiness? No, yeah, anything that's going to give you short term pleasure. I mean, it is subjective. Well, because I think, and maybe this is a similar concept in Islam, but I think there is an element of selfishness, right? You can indulge yourself all you want, but if you're being selfish at the, at the detriment of other people, then that's a harmful thing. So, okay, I can live a life of indulgence and, and, and take drugs and do whatever, but that's going to hurt me and it's going to hurt other people. So that's contradictory. That's not true happiness. Yeah, see, he's already talking like a Muslim, alhamdulillah. <laughs> <laughs> because, you know, that's, that's what I'm saying. This is something which we call the fitrah, the innate, yeah. the, the, yeah. the innate disposition. Because as a human being, we do identify many things as right and wrong. Yes, you don't need to be told. So even if you go to the Amazon forest, they'll consider murder as wrong. Yes, even if you go to far off places where civilization, modern civilization, hasn't actually approached, even they would be believing those things. And like I said earlier, the most important thing they will put again is justice, yes? So there will be some form of a justice system, yes? Doesn't matter how crude it is, it'll be there. And that's that's what I'm saying. At the end, uh, what? The justice, the, 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 the fitra. Yeah, the fitra is something, yeah, so the fitra is something that uh, a human being, doesn't matter if you're on an island, or you're far away from civilization, or even within civilization, you will, there'll be like this inner voice telling you what is right right and wrong in, in many ways.
also good, like, uh, Islamic reference to read about this. Is there, like, a particular book or... I guess it's good to many more, maybe, or... You, just to learn about Fitra? Yeah. I'm sure there'll be quite uh, heavy books on this, <laughs> written by Al-Ghazali and so, so on. But, but maybe there might be, I don't know, I can find out for you if you want. But this is, you know, this is something people recognize even without relig being religious. They know that there is something inside them which tells them innately that this is wrong. What I'm going to do now is wrong. Yeah. And then it's uh, certain people, the fitra is clouded. So they don't identify right and wrong very easily. You know when that happens? When they keep committing that sin over and over again, then it clouds your, fitra. It clouds your, your heart. Yes, we, we call this say yeah, this is the, the the dark things on your the dark spots on your heart. So if you do a sin first time, there'll be one spot on your heart. Yes, this is metaphorically speaking. Yeah, yeah. Yes. And um, if you do the sin again, then another spot and so on. A time will come and your whole heart will be like black. And then you do not identify between right and wrong. And this is normally the case you find in the serial killers yeah. and serial rapists and serial murderers. Because they've done it so many times, it becomes like second nature to them. Yeah? So they do not, it doesn't even like, uh, what do you say? It doesn't even register that they are doing wrong at, at one point. Yes? Even there's no another example of people who have prolonged their addiction. Right? Yeah, sin, which is a sin, which is a repeated sin, which they do again and again. I, I bet that the first time when they did that, their inner self told them this is wrong. Yes, and so, then they convinced themselves. Yeah. That, uh, it's like the alcoholics, you know. Every alcoholic said at one time in his life that I'm not going to over drink. Yeah, yeah. Yes, I'm I going to, uh, yeah, I can control my drink. But then they ended up as an alcoholic. And the same thing with the gambler, the same thing with the drug addict, and all these things. And you know what is the coincidence? The coincidence is all of this, Allah is prohibited. You know why? Because it doesn't only harm, like you correctly said earlier, it doesn't just harm yourself. It harms the society. Yeah, society. It harms your family. Yes. Say, for example, every time, yeah, like this is the right time, December. Yeah, first of December today. Yes. Every December, they have the ads running on TV. Do not drink and drive. Do not drink and drive. Yes. Like this is a huge thing during this period, this holiday season, because a lot of people drink during this time and they lose control. So some of these college professors, very intelligent, high IQ. Yes. They tell all the students not to do it, but during this time, many of the same people yeah. who have been preaching do not practice what they've been preaching. That's true. And they end up on the streets, puking and looking really, really silly. <laughs> yes, yeah. maybe their friends have to take them home. They can't even go home by themselves. They have become like, and yeah. that is the reason Allah has yeah. prohibited these things because a it's drunk like person, a drunk yeah. person can kill someone who's a teetotaler. Yes, someone who has not never tasted alcohol yeah. in their life, they can just run them down on the street because they were drinking so everything and, and save the NHS a lot of money yes, yes. <laughs> because if you look at the amount of people who are, end up in NHS yes, who end up at the doctors or, or the clinics or the A&E's yes their time would have been saved huge millions of pounds would have been saved yes just because of one thing alcohol being prohibited you know drugs being prohibited gambling again gambling is something which impacts not only you yes in terms of uh, uh, money but impacts your your friends from whom you start borrowing money your family from whom you start borrowing money and you see you break all these relationships sometimes you end up in a divorce because you borrowed from your wife or maybe their parents and so on so all these things have an have a have a what is a negative impact on society so it sounds to me Prophet Muhammad was very wise. Yes. He knew in society what issues are gonna happen. Abs absolutely, yes. Uh, by the way, it wasn't it wasn't Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, it was Allah. Oh, but yeah. Allah knows us, yeah, he, Allah knows the universe, so he knows what's best for us. And that's the reason I'm saying if you live under um, what do you say, under a system which authority, like yeah, moral, like like a religion, like a faith, like a way of life, it tells you from the day you were born to the day you die, how to lead your life, not that you won't come around it by trial and error, maybe making a lot of mistakes, maybe not coming, not getting an answer during the duration of your short life or the long life that you live in this temporary world. Yes, but with this system, because there is no reinventing the wheel, this is something that has already been told to you from the day one, then you don't have to worry about those things of trial and error. You see what I mean? So inshallah, I mean, you know, look into Islam. Yes, no problem. What's your name, brother? Ramzi. Ramzi? Yeah. Very nice meeting you, brother. Good to talk to you. Thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Brothers and sisters, please make dua for brother Ramzi. May Allah give him hidayah. Because our duty is to convey the message. Yes, 
Hidayah is always in the hands of Allah. The guidance is always in the hands of Allah. So inshallah, make dua for him. Uh, Jazakallah khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters. Hope this video was helpful for you. This may help others too. So please consider sharing. And we will bring more videos in the future inshallah. So consider subscribing and you won't miss any. Jazakallah khairan.